we are ever so grateful for the uh, contribution uh, of the uh, Antique Show to our, uh, to our efforts, uh, to our clinical development. Uh, we're really honored that we were selected to receive this award uh, in the proceedings of the, of the Antique Show of this year. Uh, and this will make a huge difference in our ability to establish this clinical facility. Uh, so we can reach out to many women uh, and subsequently men expanding to other tumors in the Delaware Valley and offer these new therapeutics. Through the uh, activities of the center, we have developed a number of uh, clinical uh, innovative protocols uh, of immune therapy uh, with the idea being that we can now uh, utilize the patient's own tumor to develop uh, therapy. And uh, so the um, techniques that we have developed with uh, uh, my team um, will take the patient's own tumor straight from the uh, OR, from the, uh, from the surgery, uh, dissociate it and uh, break down uh, into components that we can then recycle, if you will, utilize in uh, very innovative uh, immune therapy. We will use the money from the Antique Show to build a state-of-the-art clinical facility which is so needed in order to be able to process sufficient number of tumors on a daily basis as well as process them in a way that is compatible with the highest standards of uh, cellular therapeutics uh, at, at industry levels. And so um, it's one thing to make cells in, uh, in a laboratory, but when you have to actually derive therapeutics out of the cells, then the cells have to meet very high standards of purity uh, and pass a very large number of controls of safety in order to be able to readminister them to, to human beings. And so this facility will enable us to not only scale up in terms of volume, but also uh, reach the maximum level of safety uh, and quality of preparation of those uh, cellular products. My name is uh, Dr. George Kukos. I direct the Ovarian Cancer Research Center at the University of Pennsylvania, and I'm a gynecologic oncologist. Um, I treat patients with ovarian cancer.